Uh, we're backstage here with Dan Lissac at Scoobius. Pip. Hello. How are you guys going? All right, not bad. Good, not bad. good. Nice to meet you, man. Do you want to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about who you are. I'm Dan Lissac. And I'm Scoobius Pip. I, I, I do the talky part of our duo. And, and I uh, make all the noise. Make all the noise. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. How did you guys end up getting together as a, as a duo? Uh, how? I kind of did some gigs together. A kind of via MySpace. We both grew up in like in Essex and kind of half knew each other um, and then yeah it was when Dan I I asked if I could get a gig at one of Dan's nights in Reading which oh, yeah. is where he was living then and I went up and played and he remixed some of my stuff and it all kind of started from there Wicked and how long ago was that that you guys got together? It was 2006 Six, wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. And yeah. it's been a good four years since then, eh? It's been oh, yeah. four yeah. years of constant touring since then, really. <laughs> All over the world. Yeah, you guys said you've literally just come down from Ireland today. Yeah, yeah we had Ireland uh, yesterday or last night and Bradford the night before. And yeah, it's just it's festival season. We get to go to, in the UK, obviously, your Glastonbury's and things like that. But then getting out to Romania and Greece and all sorts of Slovakia. That oh. was the first. Oh, this year, wasn't it? Wicked. How did you find Slovakia? Oh, it's awesome, man. Yeah, uh, good steak. Really good steak. Good steak. <laughs> there you go. Got a Slovakia for good steak. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> what else have you guys been up to this season for the festivals? Where else have you been? Pretty much everyone. Just everywhere. Yeah, 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 everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's a nightmare. We were in Lowlands in Holland last week. That and was good. We've been, yeah, every everywhere. Let's just say everywhere and keep it at that. It's simple, Wicked. simple. <laughs> and what's been your favourite one so far? Um... We headlined a, st a stage at Glastonbury, and that was a wicked one. Like the wicked. crowd was just amazing. But Lowlands last weekend was a wicked one. An electric picnic a, a, a yesterday, in fact, was really, really amazing crowd. That's one. And tomorrow we'll say Brownstock, and next week we'll say Festival. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Tell us about Hopefully. that, guys. You're off to Festival next weekend, fourth year running, eh? Yep, yep, yeah. That's our. It's, it's one yeah. of our favourites, really, isn't it? It's, it's just. Uh, we do it every year, or we've, we've done it for the last two or three years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it's Agreed. like, it's a proper boutique festival, you know, like, yeah. lots of fancy dress and lots of people just having fun at the end of the summer. You know, it's, it is the nicest of the festivals you get to go to in the year, so. Yeah, and it's, all, it's good that it's at the end of the festival season as well, so it's a, it's a wicked way to end the constant run of festivals with festival, because, I, I mean, last year the crowd was just absolutely amazing the turnout was insane and it was just a really great way to go right on to touring now that's awesome on, 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 again back into club or venue gigs so yeah. is that what happens over the winter for you guys then, yeah mate? yeah yeah we've yeah, got touring from, october and november and yeah we? october all through october and november we're touring uk and ireland oh. so it's all right and then we'll have a christmas off Wicked. Have Christmas, it'll be amazing. <laughs> it yeah, deserves a bit of Christmas yeah. off, eh? Yeah, that's a weird one to actually get time off at all. Yeah, for sure. So, what are you guys going to do? Go and hang out with mum and dad? Just go and relax. Yeah. Just go and hide somewhere. Lock ourselves in our our, our flats and just. No, literally, that's what I'm hibernate. doing. Hibernate. That yeah. is what I'm doing. I'm going to go down. I'm going to learn to drive before Christmas, so I can drive to my mum and dad's on Christmas Day uh, and off by the time. But so I'll be home by Christmas evening. For, yeah. For the bomb film. Yeah, we're we, we, we like tortoises. We have to hibernate under <laughs> straw and hay for a good few months, and then we can come out again and be be energetic and yeah, and yeah, oh, enjoy that's it. awesome, man. And guys, tell me a little bit more about your music. Yeah, what what makes it special? Um, Us. Yeah. We make it special. <laughs> um, it's it's your typical Essex boy uh, electro uh, um, spoken word fusion. You know, it's it's very typical of Essex. So normal in Essex, so normal. Yeah, so normal. It's your standard Essex spoken words. Weird. Yeah. Cool. It's weird. about the lyrics. I know your lyrics are quite an important thing to you guys, yeah. and it's it's pretty much yeah, hard I mean, to get to just, where you are. Yeah, I mean, it's just on my side, it's just I'm making sure I'm kind of discussing subjects that aren't often discussed in music and things like that, and just trying to address yeah, just anything that's annoying me, and that's yeah, it's always been good to have that. Cool. So, what are you going to be telling us about tonight? All sorts of the same <laughs> rambling, miserable stuff. A bit of s suicide, a bit of self-harm, you know, murder. <laughs> Cheery subjects. Yeah. We're going to bring cheer to Essex. Look, looking forward to it. All to a disco beat. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> and guys, listen, you're on Lucky Live TV. So we want to know individually, what's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you, Dan? Put you on the spot. Our career. Oh, our blatantly. Career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Our career. Because we've yeah. completely just, we were two people making music in our bedrooms and 
then all of a sudden we're getting played on radio. Yeah, yeah, we didn't share a bedroom. We didn't have bunk beds. With a little laptop on. Yeah. Cool, guys. And what did you have for breakfast this morning? McDonald's, really. <laughs> Not McDonald's breakfast, though. Actual just McDonald's. Yeah, actually waited for it to go onto the lunch menu. And you, for yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a shepherd's pie. That's so unbreakfasty. That's <laughs> not breakfasty at all. That's one, guys. So your first time here at Brown Suck, you're looking forward to it, Deb? Yeah, yeah, it should be good. It should be fun. There's loads of, of lovely, rowdy people out there, so it should be a good one. Yeah, there are indeed. It's been a great festival. Really glad that you guys are here. Really grateful for you guys being on Lucky Live TV as well. Thank you very much. And Cheers. anything you want to say to the Brown Suck crowd watching the show? No. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. Well, this is myself, Mike Perry, Lucky Love TV at Brownstock 2010 with Dan Lissack and Scoobius Pip himself. Bye.